These two terminals are a flashing lamp output. The lamp output is only active while the gate is in motion. This serves as a caution for people that are in the area surrounding the gate. The next two terminals are for motor 1. If you only have a single gate opener, an ES1000H, these are your two power wires from your motor. If you have a dual gate opener, this is where your primary operator will attach to. Your primary operator is the one that will open first and close second. Note, I have two wires connected. This is for a single gate operation. It is the large red and large black. Please refer to your manual for the order of red or black as it will change depending on push to open or pull to open. These two terminals are motor 2. Motor 2 is only used in a dual application with an ES1000D. These serve the same purpose as motor 1, just for the secondary operator arm. The two power wires from the secondary operator arm get attached to motor 2. Your secondary operator arm will always open second and close first. You must ensure that your secondary operator arm gets closed first. One diagnostic I wanted to share is if the board shows LU on the display. LU stands for low voltage. We intentionally pulled a battery that has been drained. This battery has 12.1 volts in it. The cutout is 12.5. A fully charged battery should be around 13.8. This battery has too low a voltage. The stress it would cause the system by running off this battery could damage circuits, so the board will shut down and show LU on the display until you get a fully charged battery.